It's bourbon night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And these are the eight bourbons and ryes that are perfect to drink this holiday season. Well, it's that time of year. And of course, I'm talking about, you know, drinking some some warmer tasting bourbons. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of year round for me, but I get what you're saying. It's, it's that, the holiday that season. That holiday vibe, that mood, yeah. that cozy sweaters and yummy food and just really, really good whiskeys. Starting now and going even into the new year. I mean, this, this encompasses uh, a lot of time here. Yeah, and truthfully, I think the list that we're about to explore could be, you know, obviously enjoyed over the holidays, but they're really just good, like warm winter pours too. Cold weather. Make us feel real, Toasty and nice though. <laughs> yeah, well, let's get right into it with number one. Four Roses Single Barrel. This is the 100 proof. This is a non pick. There are picks out there, of course, and they're great. Those could be fun too. But the regular old 100 proof, uh, usually always on the shelf out there for around $35 to $40. Which I think makes it great for taking to holiday gatherings, you know, yeah. something where you don't mind, you know, you don't mind sharing. Tis Who's the season, I guess. <laughs> um, but I love, you know, the slightly higher rye content in this gives it a little bit, but not too much of those kind of, you know, minty evergreen tones that come from, and a little bit of that rye spice uh, mm -hmm. that come from the higher rye recipe, but it's still very approachable for just any bourbon drinker. And I think the 100 proof makes it good for that too. It lights that nice little fireplace in your chest, but mm. with a very approachable 100 proof. Totally. I think flavor wise, it just gives me the feelings of you know, cozy holiday parties and mm -hmm. fireplaces mm -hmm. and things. So. Yes. Overall, Chad, I'm gonna give this three out of five sweaters. Three out of five sweaters. I would agree with that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what's next. Next up, we have Restoration Rye from Castle and Key. This is a 99 proof, but I think it's just very lightly dipping into that rye. You know, mm -hmm. that rye zone, which I think this one specifically is like very pepperminty, evergreen, perfect for winter. I really like it for this season. And also, you're talking about taking a bottle to the party. Uh, Look how gorgeous this, this is. This one goes into gift territory Ooh, that would easily, mean. I believe, because of the beautiful bottle here. I mean, the, the topper itself, a little bit of a weapon. You, If you take this to a party, people are gonna be like, ooh, ah, what is that? Yeah. I don't know, it's just gorgeous, but that's not all that's important. The taste is important as well. And <laughs> I think it reads very wintery. Yeah, so much so, um, I might not be drinking this one too much during the warmer months. It really has that sort of peppermint. Mm. You know, a lot of ryes have like, Spearmint or winter mint. I think this one, to me right now anyway, is it's leaning going. a little bit more peppermint, which mm -hmm. just makes me think of candy canes and you know. Yeah, there's a little bit of clove in there too that I yeah. think is giving me that baking spice, you know, things cooking in the kitchen. Very cozy holiday. Yeah, and Sarah, I think I would give this about 3.5 sweaters. I agree with out that. Of five. A half a sweater. Is it a crop top sweater it's a crop or top. just yeah. which way are we halfing? And, okay. And I'm and I'm the one who's mm. wearing it. You're gonna be cold. I'm rocking it. <laughs> Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series FAE02. Mm, yeah, Chad, we have been talking about this one a lot lately since it came out. As soon as I tasted it, I was like, one, this is perfect for fall. Like, yeah. just, it was meant to be drank during and, the season in which it was released. But also winter, like my first instinct was fall, but then once I really got to know it more, I was like, man, That's I can nice. just, we got to know each other. We had some long fireside chats. Uh -huh. I really felt like this would be a great holiday pour. Like yes. my family really loves makers, but they love more of like, the, I guess the more accessible flagship makers products. But I think I could take this. I mean, it's 109.1. It's a little high for them, but with an ice cube, I think this would be such a crowd pleaser. Mm, yeah, it's that, it's the wood finishing that really puts this one in that category mm. of, as you said, fireside chats. Ugh. Even sitting outside, you know, maybe like mm. uh, around a bonfire, keeping warm by the fire, and then also you, the bourbon coat that right. you are putting on yourself. Uh, Don't also does... combine that with a sweater. You'd be too <laughs> no, hot. <laughs> no, no, not not for sweater weather. Now this is a limited release, but the reason why we put it on this list is because we have been seeing this pop up mm -hmm. and actually stay on the shelves. Yeah. At least in our neck of the woods. So for we've sure. seen it in a couple of places where they've gotten dozens and dozens of cases yeah. of it. So. And if you couldn't find this, I do think a Maker's Private Select would be great yeah. too. It also has those, you know, wood finished qualities um, that I think give it that nice warm toastiness that makes it so great for this time of year. But hopefully mm. you can find this one. I'm gonna say this is also about 3.5. Mm, I agree, 3.5 sweaters. No. Yeah. Another crop top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Now, speaking of wood finish stuff, we also recommend the Nulu Toasted Oak. Again, like the makers, it's those warm, toasty wood tones that are gonna come through uh, as the result of the secondary finish of this in the Toasted Oak cask. Mm. I just love that for this yeah. time of year. Now, this particular one happens to be it and it's bourbon night single barrel pick. This one's obviously delicious, we picked it, but you know. You should hopefully be able to find a pick in your area by a local store right. um, that you could have access to. And this one's a little bit higher proof. This one particularly is 114.6. Mm -hmm. They range about in that area. So this might be more for your established, like if you've got a few established bourbon drinkers at your party. Although I will say it is pricey, but if you can't at the holidays, then when can you? I made an old fashioned with this right. the other day and it was fantastic. So you can make a nice holiday old fashioned with it. Uh, but if you can't find this one, what can we what can we recommend for them, Chad, if they can't find it? We would say a nice double oak, like the Woodford double oak right mm -hmm. here. Um, this one is gonna be a little bit less money than this guy, but you know. Easier to find. Easier to find, still in that 50 mark and above. But uh, this one has, to me, more kind of coffee mm -hmm. notes to it, which I don't like coffee at all, but it doesn't kill it for me. It's sort of a, I would call it more of a coffee bean and a cola mm. note. So I actually enjoy it. I enjoy this one more, yes. Right. But, but as you said, if you can't find a new loo in your area, then a double oak totally. can do it for you. And I think at like 90.4 proof, this one's gonna be maybe a little bit more approachable. If your crowd is not ready for this one, maybe go here. What do you give the new loo sweater wise? Ooh, sweater wise, ooh, I'm gonna get up, mm, I might have to give it four sweaters. We've reached four out of five sweaters. I folks. would say 3.75 sweaters, but is that. <laughs> is it a three quarter length sweater? I mean, am I just being ridiculous at this point? Best not to pull on that thread. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And before we move on to the list, we're going to take a quick little break and tell you about our home on the internet. It is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the Glen Cairns that we're drinking from, the water glasses that we're drinking from. We have this rocks glasses, copitas. Get in there. This new hoodie. This hat. <laughs> this hat. Uh, sweatshirts, hoodies, t-shirts. Uh, candles. Candles, pins, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. And you know it is that time to shop. It is. If you wanna support a small business. But the other way you can support us is by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash itsbourbonite and you can join for as little as one buck a month. Now that Nulu that we just mentioned, that Nulu Toasted Oak, that is a Patreon release. We do those barrel picks. Patrons get first access to them. They also get the opportunity to participate in barrel picks at certain tiers. But then they also get after the episode exclusives, patron only podcasts and more. There you go. All right, on with the list. Next up from High West, we have a Midwinter's Night Dram. Now this is a 98.6 blend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, body temperature has shifted though. That's right? Not, yeah. I don't think that's normal I don't anymore. think it's normal. For some people it is. Uh, Y'all knew we were gonna put this on here. <laughs> yeah. Ob right? This is- Obligatory. It is. Uh, this is like watching Christmas Vacation mm. uh, around the holidays, or a Christmas Story, or or Die Hard, or whatever your holiday yeah, movie of choice is. Let's not debate it. Gremlins. Here. It could be any holiday movie. That's right. Or Plain Strange and Automobiles around Thanksgiving. Whatever it is, this is the staple. A Midwinter's mm. Night Dram is something that I only want to drink on December 24th or 25th. <laughs> right, Chad's got like a three day window for drinking this bottle. It's why we hold on to them for so long, which is actually nice because they are kind of hard to come by. So if you see one in your area, and we will say this is a blend of straight rise and that it's finished in port barrels. Mm -hmm. So it does have a very um, expressive, unique taste. We're not normally that super expressive? heavy rye fans, not normally. And we're not normally port fans. So the fact that this is very rye forward and finished in port. I don't know what it is about it, but it works. It does scream holiday though. Like, yeah, see this is, right now, this is too early. <laughs> it's too early for Chad me. Chad says it's too early. I yeah. mean, you get that like rich cherry, almost like a cranberry taste mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. port. Mm -hmm. It's also like fig I swear in there. it's cran like cranberries, figs, dark fruits like that. But I get a little bit of a bitterness, which comes off to me like cranberry. Oh. But then it's got, you know, those rye spices, a little mintiness, a lot of wood tones, maybe a little bit of espresso in there. It tastes like indulgence. It's a spice cabinet. It is a spice cabinet. It is a spice cabinet, yes. It's indulgent. That's a good way to describe it. It's a fruit cake. There's a lot in it and it's dense. You fast forward a couple months, you know, it's end of December. Okay, I'll be drinking this. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. not time yet for me but I think you guys will enjoy it if you can find a bottle. This is uh, scene, this is act eight, scene two. 
the one that we're drinking on. Sweaters? It's four and a half or five sweaters. I mean, it might be all the sweaters. If sweaters is the feeling of the season. Yes, it is. I feel like this is five sweaters. Okay. The only reason I was saying four and a half instead of five was just because the proof. The lower proof. It doesn't give me that warm, right. you know, chest hug, but I do think flavor wise, this is five out of five sweaters. Yeah. It's all the for sweaters. The, for the season, yes. For sure. Next, we have Old Forester 1910. Now, this one is a bit divisive. 93 proof, it is a double barreled. Uh, Old Forester product. I think it has a lot of like deep, rich cherry flavors, like a chocolate covered cherry or like almost wine finished notes, but it's not wine finished. Now, normally I would choose 1920 over the 1910. However, I think this is the perfect time of year if you're gonna drink the 1910. But it's $55 MSRP. It's pretty widely available, so that's kind of why I thought it belonged on this list. Tell us what you think, Chad. <laughs> well, I've never made my feelings secret on this. I do not enjoy 1910. There, I said it. I've said it before. Uh, in the review, I am not a fan of this. I think 1920, actually anything else on the Whiskey Row uh, series is far superior than this one. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. The uh, heavy char second barreling, and I am in to likes it. toasted barrel stuff. Right. Uh, the heavy char stuff from like Parker's Heritage, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, love that genre. But this, for some reason, is just sort of hitting me a little bit like heartburn. It's just, huh. is it appropriate for the list and the season? Yes. Does Chad love it? No. no. Now, I guess this should be the asterisk for this one. We have seen a lot of online feedback. People either love it or hate it, but I do think that it would be fun to take this sort of thing to a gathering or whatever. I think that there will be some people who really like it and some people who will probably gravitate towards just their standard, you know, bourbon offerings. But if it's, yeah. if there is a time to drink it, I think it's now. For sure, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I, I said of the last one, it's a fruitcake. No, this one is the fruitcake. It's some people cherry. love it and some people hate it, yeah. fruitcake. So this is the fruitcake of uh, of bourbons right here, <laughs> 1910 from Old Forester. I'm gonna give it two sweaters. Okay. Um, I think that it has enough of a holiday vibe, obviously that we put it on this list, but because it's divisive and you know, it's not screaming only holiday to me, but I, that's where I think it fits. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna I, say two. I agree with your your two sweaters. If ever it has a place, it's, it's on now. this list okay. and it's, it's two sweaters. <laughs> Peerless Double Oak. Now here we go, Sarah. Here's one. Now we're back. Back to a finish that he likes. Ah, uh, back to a Double Oak that I liked. A, you know, a second, uh, second barreling. I love this guy. This is from Peerless, and it's a uh, 107.1. Oh, I remember, I'm right? so excited to taste this again. Every time we've tried this since we got this bottle, I've been just as excited to taste it as the last time. When we tried this, I knew, again, this was one that I was like, as soon as I tried it, I was like, if we were remaking our fall list, I would put this on there. Right. But if I can't do that, it's still perfect for, oh, look at him, he's so happy. There's just something so warm and comforting about this one. It soothes the soul. It does. It, it's sort of like you are, Sinking yourself into a 53 gallon barrel. I'm looking mm. right off camera at one, but it's filled with warm water and you're in a, so a, dry a, bath. a hot tub. But you're also, uh, you're feeling the char. Um, isn't charcoal supposed to be good for the skin? I don't, I don't know. know. But uh, yeah. This feels like a very loving like thing to bring to a gathering to share with other people. I think, you know, again, like all things, yes. it may be divisive. Some people might not like the finish, but I just think, Mm, it's so yummy and there's a, the warm oak. Mm, there's a tobacco leaf yes. on here. Um, it's like there's holiday a, cigars around the fire. Yes, there's... Um, retire to the study. Retire to the study for billiards and not brandy. Uh, Peerless Double Oak. Bourbons and cigars. Yes, bourbons and cigars. Um, yeah, it's warm. It's very uh, cabin in the woods, not the movie but just the, the feeling, um, or or like a, a kitchen with a, a wood-burning stove. Oh yeah. Mm. That's what this is. So cozy. Yes. Can you tell we're fans of this one? Right, we like it, we're um. gushing. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess oh. I would give this one, I'm thinking four. I'm thinking four out of five sweaters. The reason why it's not five out of five is because 
it doesn't have as much of that like rye baking spice and the mintiness that we get in high rye things. Well, I also think it's because it's not just this season. Like, That's what I this mean. This season is very well represented. But in like, it. I would start drinking this in September. Yes. It could be, you know, year round, but I mm. think there's just something that makes it very perfect for this time of year. So yeah. that's what keeps it from being all the sweaters, but it's very appropriate. Maybe a little bit uh, limited in its release mm. right now. So this, you know, this one might not be in your area. So we apologize for that. But if you can come across this bottle, we highly recommend that you pick it up for this list and beyond. And beyond. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, is the Angel's Envy ride. I would say this is the the silver medal to uh, uh, Midwinter Night Stram. Yeah, this is definitely gold medal. Well, I think we can go ahead and say this is like 4.5 two five sweaters. 4.75. I would give it 4.75 sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> so this is 100 proof. Uh, it is finished in rum casks and that gives it such a lovely, like I interpret it as like a maple note. It comes across very mapley. And the fact that it's a 95.5 rye. Which gives it those yummy rye spices and like that's what makes it so perfect for this time of year. It's what I like to drink when I'm decorating the house for the holidays. So Total much so that like, story. so one time I was decorating the house for the holidays and I came into the other room to ask Chad a question. It wasn't even the other room, it was a different floor that- uh, I like d didn't have the drink with me, left the space that I was drinking it in, a different went floor. downstairs to ask him a question and he was like, have you been eating pancakes? <laughs> and no, it's this. And it's not sweet like maple syrup, it just has mm -hmm. that flavor. It's so rich and yummy and when I start getting into the holiday spirit. This is what I start with. Yes. It brings me joy to bring this bottle out every <laughs> every season. Now, it's usually around $100 or- 90, or, 100. Yeah, 80 to 100, we'll say, low to high. Um, but I, I feel like this is one that you break out during these types mm. of seasons, so it should last you a while. Or if you really wanna be a baller, take this to a holiday gathering and everyone just kill it. Or a um, great gift. Yeah, or a great gift. It really just puts you in that mindset 100%. I, I can't even sometimes believe that this isn't just flavored with maple syrup. It's unbelievable how much this tastes just like boozy maple syrup. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. It's so good. I love it. Woo! Well, this is we not, did it. Y we did do it. And just so you know, this isn't an exhaustive list. Obviously, there are other things that we like to drink around the holidays. And we want to know what you guys like to drink yes. around the holidays. So tell us down in the comments, what's your favorite holiday pour? It doesn't even have to be bourbon. We just want to know. I mean, we mm -hmm. would prefer if it would be bourbon or rye, but we can get over it. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Just put that down there in the comments. And that's where we'll leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, we love to have you. What you waiting for? You can go ahead and click right up here to do so. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Happy holidays, Sarah, and thanks. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon or rye. <laughs>